assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my channel so today we will install windows 11 on this pc and uh, i will show you how to install windows 11 on core i third 10 duration and uh, this is 10 duration pc and one of the things we will be experiment here that i am using a 10 uh, 10x uh, DirectX 10 graphics card and as you know it is not supported by Windows 11 so we will see how does Windows 11 respond after installing on a DirectX 10 and what kind of difficulties we can face so let's get started so first we have I have down already downloaded Windows 11 Pro uh, ISO and it is pre-activated so let's see it is really activated so I'm using a uh, ATB USB so first we make a bootable USB so I will install will install this windows on my uh, another hard disk not run by my primary SATA disk because I don't know what kind of difficulties we can face in this new windows so I will test on my another hard drive and see how it will perform and what kind of features we can get in this new windows so I had opened my now PC casing and I will remove some of these connectors because I will not install on these any of the drives so this is my SATA drive here so guys I am using this 120 GP hard disk it is a laptop hard disk but I am sure it will work and the booting can be slow I don't know I think because it's very old old drive so but the main concern will be I want to see how to, uh, it will perform on this old graphic card it is a 512 MB graphic card DirectX 10 900 uh, 9600 GT so I will see how it will run or not or so let's see so guys uh, uh, just taking some time to make Windows 11 hit that me know uh, if you also facing this it's very slow I think it's due to some my USB is 2.0 that's why so let's see how much it takes time I think almost 5-7 minutes are gone so now we have to boot the USB the boot menu and we so window 11 USB setup is starting to boot now so the first time I uh, made in uh, bootable USB in UEFI but it didn't work so again I made this in, in MBR so I will if first time you're starting with the PC you need to off the phone I, I don't have the card key So 
so these are my the minimum requirement to start this version so there is a way that you can bypass uh, these settings and i will show you how so i will click on i don't have any key for key So as you can see it says your PC does not need the minimum requirements. So on the keyboard you have to press press shift and F10. So command promote is open. Now Type. I will write these commands in the description. You can also C R E G E T I T. Now we have to go to open I key local machine. I key local machine. setup key uh, you have to now go to the setup while open machine system setup lab config lab config now you have to go to the Guys, you have to just press on the setup, right click and new key, and you will name it lab on 
lab config and press enter now right click on the lab config key and select new d word 32 bit value and name it bypass tm check by data to run now create bypass RAM check and bypass security check new Bypass your good check. Now you have created these three bypass key, TPM check and RAM check. Now type exit on command. Close this and go back. So as you see it's now working. I will do it before um, drives. So finally, guys, the Windows 11 has been installed, and as it, it has taken a lot of time to set up because of the I'm not using the SSD so I uh, totally recommend you if you want to use other data driver you have to install on SSD so let's see uh, I think the video graphic driver is, is not installed so that's why it's well so things are very changed here settings so I have to now go to the, the graphics so we have to go to the display advanced display option display adapter as you see there is not 
and drive install so I will check or see if there is any